All right, let's change tracks now and shift our attention to sports. India lost the first ODI against New Zealand at Napier. Let me now go across to Siddharth Kocher for more. Yes, Maha, you're right. Indeed, sad news coming from Napier, where India, who wanted to begin 2014 their year with a bank, have lost the first ODI by 24 runs. 268 is what the Indian team was all out on while chasing 293 to win because New Zealand had posted 292 for 7 with Corey Anderson smashing another blitz, blistering 50 to ensure that New Zealand posted a massive total on the board. On the show with us is Nikhil Chopra, former Indian cricketer and sports expert Borea Majumdar. First across, let's go across to Nikhil. And Nikhil, Nikhil, it's uh, just uh, a situation where India could have uh, actually gone on to one, win this match. Uh, Virat Kohli playing a blistering innings, but it wasn't to be. Well, fantastic innings. I, I'm just um, happy to see that Virat's been the only consistent guy. You know, he's been consistently getting runs, setting up games. But unfortunately, the rest of the middle order has not been able to fire or not been um, close enough to being consistent. Uh, Ajinkya Rane looked good. You know, he got those nine, ten runs, but the way he got out, maybe the ball stopped on him. But, you know, these are at least good signs for him that he's looking to play shots. He's not hanging his bat out and getting caught behind or getting out. Some of the other senior members in the sides that, you know, once you get uh, a few runs, you spend some time out there, you need to try and convert those uh, sort of scores. And you're absolutely right, you know, this was a good chance. Wicket was good. I hope for Mahindra Singh Dhoni, you know, that the next game, uh, next game that we play, things can be turned around for him. All right, we've also got former Indian captain Saurav Ganguly joining us. And uh, Dada, you know, it's an opportunity missed. And uh, once again, the batting letting India down. Two ninety-two is a big total in these conditions. Uh, you know, in, in New Zealand, in Australia, in South Africa, two ninety-two is a big total. You know, we are used to in India, two ninety-two getting chased because the outfields are so quick. The value for runs is so much that it becomes easy as the innings progresses. How many times have you seen the ball uh, get stopped for three or two or on the boundary line? That doesn't happen in India much. So it's a big total as I said at the break that India will have to bat really, really well. And <clears throat> you must give credit to the way especially Virat Kohli and his partnership with Mahindra Singh Dhoni. That actually kept India in the game. But to be honest, from right throughout, India were behind by a long, long way. You know, as far as I remember, from the 20th over, uh, they were trying to uh, chase a run with an asking rate almost close to 8, between 7.65 to 8. And the best part of the last 20 overs, they were chasing an asking rate of more than 8. In these conditions, it's never easy. In India, it's possible because the boundaries come at will, the wickets get flatter, there's no pay, no bounce, it just kids onto the bat. So these are big, big runs in, 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 uh, in overseas conditions. And I thought India did well. It was their first game. Uh, they straight away went into a match situation. They did not play any warm-up games, although for a week they were there practicing. Uh, I thought they did well at the end. And although they, they lost, to see, lost the first test, I think it, this is going to be a very good series. Yeah, it promises to be a very, very good series. Uh, but Dada, uh, once again, short ball worries returning to haunt India. If you take a look at uh, the scores of the Indian batsmen, forget what uh, Virat Kohli did with that blistering 100. Mahin Singh Dhoni getting a 40. But Shikhar Dhawan, 32. Rohit Sharma, 3. And uh, at a strike rate of 13 runs, uh, or rather 13.06. That's just astonishing. Rohit Sharma is certainly struggling. Suresh Tana getting 18. Ajinkya Rahane getting 7. The other Indian batsmen just didn't stand up. You must realize that it's not easy with the new ball in this condition. So I thought the approach of Rohit Sharma and uh, Shekhar Dhawan was fine. It's just that Rohit Sharma got out. You need to get set in these conditions. You cannot look at the strike rate when you bat at the top in, in seeming conditions and in testing conditions. Once again, I say it's not, op it's not like opening in India. And that's why I keep reiterating that you judge the quality of a player when they bat overseas. Look at Virat Kohli. He's been amazing. Uh, coming back to Rohit Sharma, I thought his asking rate or his run rate was not the issue at the start of the innings. It's just that he got dismissed. You know, once you get set in these conditions, you get bet you get uh, runs quicker, and that's the, that's what happens to players. Even Virat Kohli took a little bit of time to set, but then get set. But then once he got set, he got runs very very quickly. So I don't think there is any harm in the approach. It's just that they got out. He, in spite of just one batsman, to be honest, getting runs and getting a big hundred, India still got close to the New Zealand total. So I think it's it's not a bad start. Yes, we are one down in the series. The next game will be very, very crucial because in a bilateral series of five one-day games, if you go two down, then you have to come back from the from behind. 
but uh, I thought India uh, did good enough, I wouldn't say well, did good enough to get close to the New Zealand total.